You know, when I say I'm going to be making a new video soon, uh, I'm kind of like Aslan. You know, Lucy came to Aslan and she, he sa she says, when am I ever going to see you again? And Aslan says, soon. And she's like, but how soon? And Aslan laughs and he says, I call all time soon. <laughs> Poor Lucy. So anyway, this is... The Sogaleo Alola Collection. This is this is a super wonderful collection because it's got a choking hazard and sharp points. Wouldn't you just love to choke on sh sharp points? No, that's not what you, that's not why you buy a box because it has sharp points. If you want sharp points, what you want to do is you want to buy a knife, maybe a stiletto with the sharp and pointy, or maybe just a good old-fashioned awl. Which I, I don't have one on me right now. I should get one, because they're fun. Well, you know, if you want to poke things. Or, you know, engrave things. Why, why did I close that? I need this. I need this to stab open the good old Aslan box that is too big for this situation. Oh, there we go. Because it's got the beautiful pin and the, and the starter promos. And the sideways um, statue. Look, this one is not awful. This one is not missing pieces like like my dear friend here who ate Mew. I'm still angry about that. And let's let's go. Let's do this like Captain Blood riding the sail down the knife or the knife down the sail. You know, there's probably like three people in this world left who've seen Captain Blood, but I guess it was in the Goonies, so actually now that I think of it, I'm thinking of the section I've saw, seen on the Goonies, not actually seeing the movie itself. And here is the big hunk of plastic, which everybody loves to love. This is honestly, you know... If there's one thing this world needs, it's more vacuum-molded plastic things that are implausible to open. Not impossible, just implausible. Okay, what am I missing here? It's like it's designed to not open. Which makes sense, because there's a giant card. I should build my background out of giant cards, you know? I mean, people do that, but what can I say? And out of this, we get a good old Steam Siege, which I don't think I've opened any of yet, even. So, that is good news. We've got Evolutions, which I've opened just a couple. Fates Collide, which I opened quite a bit, but still, Fates Collide is a great set, cause, mostly because of this dude. He's like, I am the king. And Evolutions, another one, and Break Point. And you don't want to break this point, because it's pointy and sharp. And if you don't break, if you break it, then you can't pin it up on the thing, which I need to show the thing. Ooh, Sogaleo jumps in front of Fictini, and it doesn't work. So let's put him. Let's give him Benny's seat because, you know, Princess Unikitty and um, Sogaleo—they're dating now. What? I didn't say that. And. Oh, this wondrous figurine. And, wow, this is a cascading promo. Poplio, always pick water first. That's the important thing. Actually, these are sliding out really nice, and they're not all murdicated like they often are. Rallet was a little bit uh, sketchy to pull out, but okay. Um, I want to do 
fates collide. This is what it's like when fates collide. No, I didn't do that. You didn't hear me do that. And anyway, ooh, it's got a little notch at the top, so you do that. So, and since it's a good old oldie, old old, we are going to give away this green card. Because everyone loves Fates Collide. I really shouldn't. I should have given away the cards which I have a bunch of packs of, but what can I say? Okay. Three. And, oh, look at that beautiful Wigglytuff. Wigglytuff's trainer is sitting in the internet cafe, and look at that seat. I don't know if it's going to focus right on that seat. It look, look, looks like a pill bug that's rolled out. And Wigglytuff is up sleeping in. This must be one of those, like, cat cafes, except it's got, like, Pokemon. That's a great idea. They should do that. You know, genetically alter animals so they're like Pokemon and make a cafe where you sit and just enjoy their presence. And there's Dugong under the sea. Reminds me of a song. Can't remember which one. And there's N. Good old N. That's so... N is like the weirdest Pokemon character ever. He's just so... So screwed up. And look, his hair and the bush are the same. Okay, like, like I'm not sure that bush is really a bush. I think it's a person spying on him who likes his green hair. Because, I mean, he was like a cult leader, wasn't he? <sighs> yeah. And there's Minchinjo. Ah, shining the spoons. There's a lot of spoons in this Fates Collide set. Because it's, uh, it's all Mr. Angry. I think he's mad because someone stole his spoons. And I think this is the culprit right here. Minchincho stole the spoons. And here's Diglett, who's just in love with this shiny rock. Diglets are like dwarfs, aren't they? They like shiny things. And here's Larvitar, just chilling out. I bet he tuned these stalagmites to drip in perfect unison acts in perfect timing so it like creates a musical thing and he's dancing to it that would be a lot of work that would take like a million years to set up that's crazy and Carbink who you know Diglett loves Carbink because look at the shininess you know the Carbink is shiny and so Diglett is pining for his um, lovely carbink. Actually, no, nah, never mind. And there's, ooh, a triple Burmy. This would give you extra points in Pokemon Snap. Because you've got multiple ones. Man, can you imagine the... Yeah. And the Fairy Garden. Lovely. This was this was back when fairy type was new, so they had to make it all special. And there's another carving. Look at that picture. I've never seen this one before. Basic energy attached by effects. Whoa. That that could come in super handy because this guy makes it so you can't you don't have to remove discard energy. So if you have a thing that, a basic, which, you know, some of the most powerful ones were basics, then you wouldn't have to, yeah, that, that's hardcore, actually. And, I don't think I'm going to open all of these yet, but let's go evolutions, because Blastoise is my bro. Sorry I make mouth noises when I'm doing actions, but that is, ooh, look at that. The question is, which one is it? And 
you know what? I'm gonna because why not? Two, three, do do upside down. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna try to be all super professional and not bobble the camera. Blastoise Spirit Link. Pidgeot Spirit Link. Kakuna Spirit Link. No. And Ponita? That's. I love these classic pictures. It just really brings you back. And there's Pikachu. Good old fat Pikachu. Back in the days when he was chubby. And Poliwag, who is wagging his tail. He has to because when he grows up, he's not going to have that tail. So he's got to enjoy it while he can. Kind of like my hair. I used to love my hair. I mean, I still love my hair, but there's less of it now. And then Caterpie. And Diglett, look at the fuzziness. The good old days when when the artist didn't know what the heck Diglett was. And so he just made this fuzzy little mountain and then photoshopped on the eyes and the nose. And then you drop the camera. Always an adventure here. Always. Always. And, ooh, you know... I went, I've been looking through my collection lately, and I have so many reverse fighting energies. I, not so much of any of the others, but fighting energy, that's the one I have. And Slowbro EX. Flash Splash. Flash Splash. It's not gonna... Flash Splash. Flash Splash. Flash splash. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> oh man, this is this is awesome. See here, he's basic. He doesn't discard any cards, but you know what I mean. And uh, I think I'm gonna save the steam sieges for later. Break point. You know, I like the breaks, but also I didn't like that they were all just gold. Some of them you couldn't hardly make out what the Pokemon were, you know, and, ooh, Rattata, Rattata, ooh, good news, and here we have Arcanine running at night, checking out the stars, but still has to exercise, Life is tough for an Arcanine. Puzzle of Time. Wow. You can play two of them at once. Ooh. I'd want to do two, because... Put two cards from your discard pile. That that can be a game changer there. And here's Swana. You know, Breakpoint had a lot of action shots. Like, flying through... Looks like it's near sunset. Maybe sunrise. It's, you can tell he just got out of the water because it's dripping, sparkling droplets reflecting in the sun. And there's the rat -ta, ta Look at how many rat -ta, ta there are. That's a lot of rat -ta, ta Draw a card, switch this Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. That is interesting. That might be a good one to start with. Because then, you know, people think, oh, he's put a weak one on, and then ch -ch, you can switch him out. And Cricketot, look at that. He's out there braving the storm, you know. He was supposed to have his very first concert, because, you know, he's he's dressed in a tuxedo, and he's, you know, a TikTok, TikTok kind of creature. Metronome, that's what he is. He's a metronome cricket. But then a storm happened, and he wasn't able to have his very first concert and he's so sad but he's still he's very stoic so you know you have to be stoic when you play a music form that no one really cares about anymore <laughs> I'm gonna get some anger about that one but yeah and there's Shelter whoa look at that the river dried up instantly I think he drank it all Look at him, he's so, like, I drank too much water. 
what's wrong with me? But he's like a black hole. Like that's that's what it is. It's it's a black hole, a living black hole in a shell. It's the shell is con to contain it so it doesn't like devour the whole planet. But yeah, lots of sky. They they care about sky in Breakpoint. Whoever the art director was, and here is the fabulous Drowsy. He's got such a such a sparkle. And look, there's the Beauty and the Beast dress. Well, I guess it's Beauty's dress. The flowers are wilting, which you know in the context of Beauty and the Beast what that means. So, so is this Beauty who's turned into Drowsy, or or Drowsy is the Beauty? I mean, you know, Drowsy's beautiful, you know, with the little elephant thing, and you know, he's a tapir. I never noticed that before. Anyway, <laughs> this is, there's a lot going on here. You know, you've got the two ducklets just waddling along, and there's, there's, there's that guy who drinks all the water, Mr. Black Hole himself, and Slowpoke, just chilling out. Hone Edge, I love Hone Edge. I invented Hone Edge, you know. Not a lot of people know that, but seriously. I, I invented him. Except I, the sword Pokemon I made that was fake, that I entered into a Fakemon contest, that was not sponsored by... Uh, it's not sponsored by Nintendo or Pokemon. But it was on one of their forums. So... But my guy was a Ghost Poison. Or no, a Steel Poison. Yeah. And he evolved into a Ghost. And Garbador! Love it. Garbador. Garbador. You know, it's like, this is why you recycle, because your garbage is going to get angry at you, and then come back to wreak vengeance. Look at, he's got a gas pump hand. And he's, whoa, he's, um, that's a little inappropriate, Pokemon. Why would you... Why would you do such a thing? Why would you make a Pokemon that is making such a uncouth gesture? And look, it's... I love this, is like splatted the camera. That's... That's great. And there's like this swirling... Someone... Shelter must have taken his shell off, because there's like this... The, the black hole is sucking up all the world. And... I think this video is getting too long, so I'm going to save these for a special occasion. And I'm going to say farewell. And I'm not going to sing a song from a musical that my mom made me watch a million times when I was little. You know what I mean? If you don't, I'm happy for you. So, I'm just going to wait for to do the title card things, you know, because that's always fun. <laughs> Poor Benny. Benny is sad that he got kicked out of... Okay, he's not sad. There. He's, he's, um... <laughs> he's pretending not to be sad. Poor, poor Benny. And he's wearing his head backwards. <sighs> But he's got a sausage, so, you know, there's that. And that is that. Farewell.